here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of differential equation of higher order with constant coefficients welcome to video number 29 and in this video we are going to solve second problem on the topic that is simultaneous linear equations okay very 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 important question so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of this chapter with your friends okay if you are doing this you are supporting me okay so before I start this video, I would uh, like to show you something that is if you go in the I button, okay, you will see in video number 28, I have solved this problem and in this uh, in this video that is in video number 29, I am going to solve this problem, okay, and under the topic that is simultaneous linear equation. But if you go to the I button, you will get the complete playlist of all the topics, okay, that belongs to this chapter, okay, everything is solved, okay, yes, here again you can see Kochi's homogeneous linear equation then we have Legendre's linear equation and at last we have simultaneous linear equations okay so let us start solving this very 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 important problem solve the following simultaneous equations that is dx upon dt plus 2x minus 3y equals to 5t okay and the second equation is that, that is dy upon dt minus 3x plus 2y equals to 2 into e to power 2t okay yes now what is d upon dt that is capital D okay so taking d upon dt equals to capital D the above equation becomes this will become dx this is as it is that, that is 2x minus 3y plus equals to 5t now this will become dy and the rest is same that is minus 3x plus 2y equals to 2 into e to power 2t okay now from here okay we can take x common that is d plus 2 the rest is same that is minus 3y okay d minus 2 into x minus 3y equals to 5t let us let's suppose this is my equation 1 and from this okay we can take again y common that is d plus 2 so d plus 2 into y minus 3x equals to 2 into e to the power 2t and let's suppose this is my equation number 2 okay now we want to eliminate x first okay if you want to eliminate x first then here we have the coefficient of x that is d plus 2 and here the coefficient of x is minus 3 okay so multiplying equation 1 with minus 3 okay and operating on Yes, equation number 2, okay, operating by d plus 2 on equation number 2, okay, because d is a differentiation, which is an operation, so we cannot say multiplying, okay, we need to write operating by, okay, so, yes, here we can see, if you multiply equation number 1 with 3, this will become 3 into d plus 2 into x, this will become minus 9 by equals to 15 t, okay, now if you operate on, yes, Operate by d plus 2 on equation number 2. This is going to be d plus 2 whole square into y minus, okay, minus 3 into d plus 2 into x. And yes, coming to this part, that is d plus 2 into 2 into e to power 2t. Okay, now if you solve this part, okay, d plus 2 means we need to differentiate this and we need to multiply this and we are going to add both. Okay, so if you differentiate this, you will get 2 is as it is differentiation of e to power 2t will become 2 into e to power 2t okay so this is as it is plus 2 into e, 2 into e to power 2t okay now this will become 4 into e to power 2t and here we have 4 into e to power 2t if you both add both you will get 8 into e to power 2t okay so on solving this okay on differentiating this part you will get 8 into e to power 2t okay now here again you can see yes here we have the coefficient of x 3 into d plus 2 and here we have minus 3 d plus 2 so we can cancel both okay and finally we can say if you add both that is if you take by common this is d plus 2 whole square minus 9 equals to 15 t and here we have 8 into e to the power 2 t okay now if you open this bracket that is d plus 2 whole square that is yes d plus 2 whole square minus 9 if you solve this you will get finally this that is d square plus 4d minus 5 okay because on solving this we'll get d square plus 4d plus 4 minus 9 that is minus 5 okay d square plus 4d minus 5 into y equals to 15t plus 8 into e to the power 2t okay so after writing the equation in symbolic form we can find the auxiliary equation okay how to find the auxiliary equation yes simply yes simply equate the coefficient of y to 0 but in place of d i am writing m so this is going to be m square minus m square plus 4m minus 5 equal to 0 simply solve this equation okay if you solve this equation which is very 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 easy 
if you solve both you will get m equals to 1 and minus 5 okay if you if you solve this equation we will get m equals to 1 and minus 5 and since the value of m equals to 1 and minus 5 so we can say the roots are real and distinct okay the roots are real and distinct okay so when the roots are real and distinct how to find complementary function here we have the formula for yes when the roots are real and distinct and we are taking only two roots so that is m1 and m2 in that case uh, complementary function that is cf becomes c1 into e to power m1x plus c2 into e to power okay m2x so applying this formula here again because the roots are real and distinct so cf equals to c1 into e to power 1t that is t plus c2 into e to power minus 5t okay so complementary function becomes c1 into e to power t plus c2 into e to power minus 5t okay after finding complementary function what is my next duty is to find pi that is particular integral okay so pi equals to 1 upon this part that is coefficient of i that is d square plus 4t minus 5 okay into this part that is 15t plus 8 into e to power 2t okay now here we have addition sign we can split this okay so you will get this that is 15 into 1 upon this part that is d square plus 4 d minus 5 into t here plus 8 into 1 upon d square plus 4 d minus 5 into this part that is e to power 2 t okay here we have algebraic part and here we have exponential part okay so <clears throat> since we have algebraic part here so we need to write this in increasing power of d okay since we have algebraic part that is t so we need to write this in increasing power of t okay increasing power of d so 15 is as it is if you write this in increasing power of d this will be, become minus 5 plus 4d plus d square okay increasing power of d d to power 0 d to power 1 d to power 2 okay into t and here plus 8 into 1 upon yes here we have exponential part only so what is the formula for pi when you have exponential part yes here you can see Yes, here we have the formula when x equals to e to the power ax then 1 upon f of d into e to the power ax will become 1 upon f of a into e to the power ax provided f of a is not equal to 0. Okay, it means in place of d we need to write a. Okay, in place of d we need to write a and what is a that is coefficient of x. Okay, so writing this. So here we will get the coefficient is what? 2. Okay, so in place of d we need to, we need to write 2. So 2 square that is 4. 4 into 2 that is 8 and minus 5 is as it is okay and don't forget to write this e to power t here okay so again in the next step what we can do is yes we can take this minus 5 common because yes after writing this in increasing power of d we need to make this first term as 1 okay we need to first term as 1 so to make this as 1 we need to take minus 5 common from these three terms okay so 15 upon minus 5 if you take minus 5 common here we have 1 and here we have minus 4 upon 4d upon 5 and here we have plus d square upon minus 5 so this will become minus d square upon 5 okay if you take minus com minus, minus 5 common here this will become 1 this will become minus uh, plus 4d upon minus 5 that is minus 4d upon 5 and plus d square upon minus 5 that is minus of d square upon 5 okay and don't forget to write this d here okay so t here now solve this here we have 8 here okay 4 plus 8 that is 12 12 minus 7 uh, 5 that is 7 into e to power 2t okay so this part is solved now coming to this part okay so this will become what minus 3 okay 15 upon minus 5 that is minus 3 now we can take this in the numerator part okay this will become 1 minus of we are taking this in bracket okay we are using these two terms in bracket that is if you take negative common this will become positive okay because if you remove this bracket this will become negative again okay so this is d and d is what 4d upon 5 plus d square upon 5 because we have this formula that is 1 minus d power minus 1 okay here we have 1 minus this is complete d power minus 1 okay into t and this term is as it is that is 8 upon 7 into e to power 2t okay now simply solve okay because we know the formula of 1 minus d power minus 1 equals to 1 plus d plus d square plus d cube and so on okay yes and here you can see the power of t is what 1 so we are going to take up to this okay then you can write plus dot 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 okay because d square okay d square of this will become zero and the higher order again will become zero so we are going to take up to this so yes here we have minus 3 as it is yes 1 plus okay if you 
right here that is 1 plus d and d is what this whole term that is 4d upon 5 plus d is equal to 5 and no need to take the higher orders okay because that will become that will that will make this term as 0 okay so here we have okay here we have t plus 8 upon 7 into e to the power 2t okay now simply solve this okay minus 3 is as it is if you multiply t with 1 you will get t 4 upon 5 as it is differentiation of t will become 1 why because d is what d means d upon dt okay so if you are differentiating with respect to t this will become 1 and d square of t will become 0 okay yes so pi equals to what minus 3 t plus 4 uh, t plus 4 upon 5 plus 8 upon 7 into e to the power 8 upon 7 into 8 to the power 2t okay and here we have the value of cf so we can finally say that is y equals to y equals to cf plus pi this part is cf and this part is pi so y equals to cf plus pi that is c1 into e to the power t plus c2 into e to the power minus 5t plus pi that is minus 3 t plus 4 upon 5 plus 8 upon 7 e to the power 2t okay this is the value of y now after finding the value of value of y we can find the value of x so to find the value of x we will use this equation because here we have uh, minus 3 into x okay so we can take this term here and again we can divide by minus 3 okay so we will take this term not this term okay to find the value of x we will use this okay which is very 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 easy as compared to this okay so d plus 2 into y y is what this okay that is c1 into e to power t plus c2 into e to power minus 5t plus yes i am opening the bracket okay let me show you open this bracket so you will have two terms here and one term from here okay total three terms from pi and two terms from cf total five terms so we have one two three four five five terms from for y okay so here we have y minus 3x equals to 2 into e to the power 2t okay now what is what we need to find is that is x okay so if you open this bracket that is differentiation of all the term all the five terms and multiplication of two with all the five terms okay so if you differentiate all the five terms you will get c1 into e to the power t okay and here c2 into e to the power minus 5t into coefficient of t that is minus 5 now coming to this that is minus 3 okay because this will become 1 this is constant so this will become 0 and 8 upon 7 into e to the power 2t into 2 okay so differentiation of all the terms are over now coming to 2 into all the terms that is 2 into c1 into e to the power t plus c2 into e to the power e to the power minus 5t okay that is minus 60 minus 24 upon 5 and this will become plus 16 upon 7 okay into e to the power 2t okay and rest two are same that is minus 3x equals to e to the power 2t now yes if you multiply that is c1 into e to the power t if you multiply that is that is minus 5 into c2 into e to the power minus 5t again this is minus 3 this is 16 upon 7 into e to the power 2t this is what this is c2 into uh, c1 uh, 2 into c1 e to the power t and here we have 2 c2 e to the power minus 5t here we have minus 60 minus 24 upon 5 here we have 16 upon 7 e to the power 2t minus 3x equals to e to the power 2t okay 2 into e to the power 2t is as it is okay now what we can do is yes here you can see c1 into e to the power t c1 into e to the power t the coefficient of this is 2 and this is 1 so combine this you will get 3 into c1 into e to the power t similarly if you combine this and this you will get minus 5 and here we have 2 so this is minus 3 into c2 into e to the power minus 5t okay now minus 3 and here we have minus 24 upon 5 okay and uh, yes if you combine both you will get yes minus 39 upon 5 okay so these two terms are already gone now e to the power 2t and here we have e to the power 2t so if you combine both you will get plus of 32 upon 7 into e to the power 2t so these two terms are all gone now you can see this is left and if you take this to the left hand side you will get minus of e to the power 2t okay 2 into e to the power 2t and take this minus 3x to the right hand side that is equals to 3x what we need to find is x okay so divide take this 3 to the left hand side you will get 1 upon 3 into all the terms that is this x equals to 1 upon 3 3 into e, 3 into c1 into e to power t minus 3 into c2 e to power minus 5t okay minus 13 upon 5 plus 18 upon 7 e to power 2t minus 60 okay now if you multiply 3 with 
1 upon 3 with all the terms we will get this as c1 into e to the power t minus this will become c2 into e to the power minus 5t this will become minus 13 upon 5 this will become 6 upon 7 into e to the power 2t and this will become minus 2t and this is the final value of x so here we will get the value of x and y okay thank you thank you so much